What's going on guys? Today we are going to talk about metabolic adaptation. This is a question I get quite frequently. More so I get questions regarding metabolic adaptation as in why am I continually dropping calories and I am not losing weight? How come I lost all this weight yet I gained all this weight back when I stopped the diet? And recently I literally got the question, what is metabolic adaptation? And instead of answering it on my podcast or anything like that, I really wanted to bust the whiteboard out and create a video for you. So today we're going to talk about what metabolic adaptation actually is, but then I'm going to take you through some graphs showing you one, what it looks like. And then two, how you can avoid the worst thing possible and how you can actually start moving in the right direction with a reverse diet. All right. So what is metabolic adaptation? As you can see, I have three graphs here. The reverse diet is the positive one. The chronic deficit is not a very good one. And this one up here doesn't have a title, but it is another one that is not that great. It is a type of metabolic adaptation. Metabolic adaptation from what you can see here. So we have calories, which are in red. We have body weight, which is in black. Just like most people know calories in versus calories out. It's a simple equation to, to create fat loss. When you create a deficit, whether that's through energy expenditure or you cut calories from the food you're intaking, you are creating a caloric deficit on a daily basis. This leads to weight loss. We all know this, right? So we cut calories, we drop weight. We level off, we plateau, we do it again, we cut some calories, we drop weight again. Level off, cut calories, drop weight again. And we do this pattern, this is time, for 10 months to get to our goal weight. And we're constantly driving calories down, but we're losing weight, so we're getting to the result. What happens at this point? We've lost the weight, we're at our goal weight, yet we're eating an amount of calories that's unsustainable, right? And at this point, which I'm gonna to get to later, this is where a chronic deficit comes into play. This is what a lot of people go through, and this is a, a part of metabolic adaptation. Your metabolism has metabolically adapted to a lower set point, a lower amount of calories. It's not sustainable, and your body starts to kind of fight against you in a way. A lot of your hormones fight against you. This usually leads to weight regain. And as you can see here, two things happen in this scenario. A, we cut calories, we get to our goal weight. Then all of a sudden our body starts fighting back. Hormones start kind of going crazy and we start slowly regaining all that weight back. Yet we never brought our calories up or B, we bring our calories up as well. I don't have my red pen, but we bring our calories up and our weight jumps up with it. Either way, we go through this process of driving calories down, driving body weight down. We realize it's unsustainable. Our metabolism adapts to that lower set point and starts to gain weight as we try to add calories back in. All right, so this top graph we talked about, we're bringing calories down, we get to our goal weight, we keep our calories low, but now all of a sudden our body is fighting against us and our body weight starts to climb up, even though our calories are still down low. This is a form of metabolic adaptation, something obviously none of us want. Down here we have another graph. Same exact process, dropping calories, dropping weight over time. At about a year mark, we see all of a sudden the body weight plateaus, which is common. So we drop calories again. And this is where we see this cross section in the graph. We drop calories again, yet our body weight doesn't change. So what do we do? Naturally, we drop calories again. We want that weight loss, yet our body weight never changes. This is another form of metabolic adaptation. Your metabolism has adapted to a lower set point. You cannot lose any more weight. Your body is fighting against you. And no matter how far you drop those calories, it is not going to create weight loss because your metabolism is not in a healthy place. Your endocrine system, which is the hormonal system in your body, is not in a healthy place. And what happens is this right here. We get to almost our goal weight and we plateau. And even though we are dropping calories lower and lower, we're doing more and more cardio, our body weight doesn't change. All right, so this last, this third graph I have right here is the reverse diet. This is the best scenario possible, okay? So this is where we're doing this process of bringing our calories down, we're bringing our body weight down, but before we get to that point where our body weight really plateaus, which you can see right here, before we get to that point, we start slowly bringing calories up. And I know this looks like a very steep mark, but this is over months and months and months, but we're slowly bringing calories up. Typically, a reverse diet, you're bringing calories up five to 25% per one to two weeks. So it's a big variance depending on how adaptive somebody's metabolism is. But at the end of the day, the goal here is to get close to our goal weight. And as you notice, I'm not going all the way to my goal weight because what I don't want to do is push my body so far, so hard, so quick that we get to a low body weight where we're wrecking our body to the point where we have just dieted too hard and our metabolism has adapted. So before we get to that adaptive phase, that adaptive point in our timeline, we're gonna slowly start bringing calories up for an extended period of time. 
And again, we will come back to the diet. So let's say we get to this point and you're not quite at your goal weight yet. That's fine. We are going to spend two, three, four, six months even reverse dieting, bringing your calories back, kind of rejuvenating your body, your hormones, your muscular system, your nervous system, get everything primed and ready. So when we get over here and we've maintained that body weight, now at a higher calorie set point, now we can start dieting again. And we actually do this caloric repeat essentially. We're bringing those calories back down just like we did before. But the difference is, is your weight where you're starting at this time is much lower than where you started at the first time. This is the goal of a reverse diet. And the purpose behind a reverse diet is to avoid metabolic adaptation long term. Like we talked about in this graph over here, the chronic deficit. People who stay in a, a deficit for more than a year, months and months and months, and they're not seeing results, you are pushing your metabolism further and further into a black hole where it is not going to return very easily. As long as it takes you to get that weight off, it's going to take you just as long to reverse diet out of there. And if you push it too hard, too fast, with cutting more and more calories, not taking care of your body, not taking care of your hormones, that is exactly when you will face metabolic adaptation. All right, guys. So I was screaming at the camera. I was going extremely fast. I was talking about this topic like a madman because I get very, very passionate about this subject. And the reason I get so passionate about it is because I reach so many people and I see so many people that come to our practice, Boom Boom Formance, and we take them through this exact process. We get a lot of people who have followed in templated diets, um, meal plans from bodybuilding style programs they find in a magazine or online or whatever it may be. They follow these programs. They crash diet. They do tons of cardio. They come to us with a damaged metabolism. I should say an adapted metabolism because damage is, is the wrong word. We can fix this. Um, they come to us with this metabolism that has been metabolically adapted. And they were in a place where they are at low calories, yet their weight is not changing. Their weight is not progressing. And if they add calories too quick or they go out for a weekend or anything, it seems like they look at a cupcake and gain weight. We all know that saying. We all know those people that have that issue. And a lot of times it's because of this metabolic adaptation. So to kind of recap what we talked about today, metabolic adaptation is the process of your metabolism adapting over time. Typically, when we are referring to metabolic adaptation as a symptom or as a uh, issue that somebody is suffering from, what we are talking about is when people put their calories too low, they diet too hard for too long, and their metabolism becomes adaptive. It adapts to this lower set point. Because every time we plateau on this journey, like I said before, we're dropping calories, we're going to hit a plateau, we're going to hit a speed bump, we're going to hit a slowdown in the weight loss. That is your metabolism adapting to that new set point. It's a survival mechanism. It wants to survive by any means necessary. So when I bring my calories down 200, my metabolism is going to slowly drop until its maintenance is now 200 because that's survival. When we do this for too long, we put our metabolism into this adaptive phase and now we are in a place where either A, our calories are low but our body weight starts climbing up. This is weight regain which is one of the most common things we see in the United States. Or we're in the chronic deficit phase where we keep driving calories low, but about halfway to our goal, our body weight plateaus and stays there even though, this is that cross section on the graph, even though we keep dropping our calories lower because we've brought them past what is acceptable from human physiology, what is acceptable for hormonal function. And then of course, the reverse diet, which is the solution that we usually um, address to people and we can take an aggressive approach where we bring those calories up pretty quickly or we can take a more conservative approach where we go slowly and we add a small amount of calories every single week over time to get their calories back up but keep their body weight at that lower place. Guys, if you like this video, if this video helped you out, Subscribe to the channel, give us a like, comment below, let me know what you want to learn about next because I love creating these graphs and these cool things in any way I can do anything possible to help you learn these complicated subjects to make sure that you can avoid things like metabolic adaptation. If you want any more info from me, if you want any more free content or you want to learn more about coaching, go check out boomboomperformance.com.